I don't think I could do that. <laughs> the, the airplane part, and maybe who knows about the marriage part. All right, football season already underway, one game under our belt. That's right. And this is the big week, so you get, better get your fantasy football teams ready, right? That's right, Brian. Jeff Corcini has some uh, advice for us here. What are we going to do, Jeff, first big week? Well, you know, this is everybody has focused on drafting their players. And right now, because not a lot of people know what's going on, we've got a couple of tips to help you set your lineup this week and the next couple of weeks. And the first thing is, is start your best players. A lot of times people will try to play the matchups. They've drafted all these players. They may look at an average player against a good matchup, but the first week you want to start your best players. The second thing is, is you want to pay attention to the new NFL injury report. It has changed where now they actually give information on Wednesdays as to the level of participation that the players had that week in practice, whether they had limited practice or they had full practice or no practice. And then on Fridays, they actually come out with the NFL injury report. So it's a little bit more accurate. Coaches can no longer kind of hide players and say that they're probable hmm. when in fact they will actually play. So that's something that you want to pay attention to as well. That didn't come about because of fantasy football. I guess well, no, it but it came about because coaches trying to stash players right. and not really let them know their injury status. So if you play a player mm -hmm. on your fantasy football team who who is injured and not playing, that's just that's tough luck for you. Exactly. So you, when, you're, when you're in fantasy football, you want to pay attention to those things. Hmm. And, then, and, and especially the first couple of weeks, like I said, because nobody knows how good these teams are. We saw that with uh, the New Orleans and Colts oh. game where everybody thought the Colts weren't going to be that good, and look how good they looked. They really were. And impressive. then the final tip is to make sure to avoid one-week wonders. What is a one-week wonder? A one-week wonder is every, every opening weekend in the NFL, there's one player that nobody expected to play real well. He does real well, and then all these fantasy uh, GMs go out and they pick up that player and they drop another player when in fact he just had one good week. Yeah, one good game. Yeah, it's, exactly. It's uh, tempting to do, but you yes, got to stay is. with the plan, right? Yes, it is. Well, all right. So fantasy football is underway, and these these schedules have to be locked in, or the uh, the teams have to be locked in. Usually, at what time before a right, game? You know, every league is different, but typically right before kickoff. So Saturdays and Sundays, like this, is one of the busiest mornings for us because everybody wants to set their lineup. If people want to find out more, how they can get more advice from you, Jeff, they can, get, they, they, can, they can get a hold of us at FantasyFootballStarters.com. We're all about helping people win in fantasy football, and um, that's how they can access the site. We're, 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 we've got tons of free information there. They can get full access to it anytime. Fantasy football bigger than ever this season, too. Yes, huh? it is. It sure is. <laughs> You're right in the thick of it, too. Jeff Corcini, we appreciate you coming in. You bet, Give Brian. us another tip next week, we hope. You got it. All right, there we go. We have a fresh look of news coming up just ahead, and we're going to tell you which pooches are the most popular here in Arizona.